Okay. Good morning, everyone out there. I'm coming to you from carrying my canoe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, currently I'm giving you guys the most wobbliest, awkward, tilted angle probably possible. But carrying my homemade little boat down here to the river. I'm gonna go do a little tank car fishing out of the little boat. Kind of weird, but I probably could just stand in the water. It's pretty shallow. But I just want to get the boat out, test it, make sure that all the leaks are sealed up. Oh yeah. I got my homemade oar. I made this out of a side piece of a pool table that I got for free. All the wood that I made this boat out of was pretty much free. I was doing a demo job and we got a bunch of wood out of the basement. And uh, instead of taking it to the dump or the landfill, I decided to take it home and make myself a lumber pile. One thing that's crucial whenever you're out in a boat is to make sure that uh, you got everything secured in there. That way if it does roll, you don't have to worry about losing stuff. Gonna fill up this anchor bag real quick. A couple good sized rocks right here by the shore. Chunk of concrete there. It looks like another chunk of concrete. Oh, that's about a 10 pound anchor. Should be more than sufficient. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. So if anybody wants to know the knot that I tie. Once I get my boat to sit still here. Let's pull it up on the shore a little bit. Alright. Let's pretend these two hooks. Or the two little eyes right here. Are the eyes of your hook. So I take my line and I go through it once twice so I have these two little loops like that and then I'll just wrap it around here once twice three times four times and then I go back through the center of those two holes uh, probably the worst angle to show you guys anything but at the same time I just don't know it should be tieable with regular rope That's the knot that I tie for tying onto my hooks and stuff. Those rocks are stinky I picked up.
there's one. Woo! Yeah. I'm getting that over here. Oh, look at that nice little rainbow right there. Beautiful fish. And that's causing a lot of drag in the water. I don't need a rudder right now. Oh, yeah. Sooner or later here, he's going to get tired. Or she. Come on. Trying to shake me. Right in the top of the mouth. Boom. Look at that fish. Oh, it's thick. That's a thick little ring. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Feisty now, feisty. Hey, hey, hey. There's a bunch of water in the boat, don't worry. Come on. Nice, nice rainbow right there, taking a big old mossy poop. Doesn't even know what happened. Yeah. All right, let's get something else. Switched over to just the olive woolly bugger. Just to see, uh, I got a bunch of moss on there right now. Just to see. Oh, just a few shades off from the color of the moss. That's not what I'm trying to imitate, but that's what it kind of seems like these days. Because the fish have been eating moss and also lots of little bugs and leeches there's one look at that oh yeah Woo! and we're gonna get it right in the net oh yeah Oh yeah. Let me get the bugger out of there. That's what it looks like after it's beat up. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got eight and seven. 15. Man, these summertime trout are rowdy. Look at this thing. Woo! Get back in there, he even came back up for a gulp of air. There's one. Look at that. Oh, nice rainbow right there. Come on back over here out of the current, boy. It's kind of difficult to steer them.
Come on, Hook. Up, up. Easy there. Up, up, up. You got it all wrapped around you. Nice 14. Get her back in the water as quick as possible.